All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking on a one man investigation to solve the mystery behind our brother's disappearance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Anthology of Fear. After months of investigation, no one has been able to locate your brother. When all hope for help is lost, you take matters into your own hands. Solve the mystery of your brother's disappearance while making your way through unsettling liminal locations. Now we've had our couple of liminal location horror games, but this one looks pretty good, I must say. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's do this. Get the good old classic VHS intro, visually and quite literally. I kind of miss watching movies, VHS movies, even though that's probably not practical considering how irritating they can be. Hmm. Oh shoot, we're playing. Press tab to see personal notes. Get out of the car. Hold the right mouse button to interact with environments. Get out of the car. I don't remember what happened. Did I have an accident? Is that why I don't remember anything? I have to go out and find out and find some help. Maybe then I'll find out what's going on. I don't think I should be behind the wheel right now. <laughs> Most definitely. Oh, there we go. So in order to interact with anything, I have to right click first. I have no idea what that's for, but I'd rather not check. Take a look around the place. Hey, this game looks nice. This is beautiful. Very nice. Obey. Obey what? Or who? No thought. Damn right. I don't know what to think. The phone is a lie. Honestly, I've got no idea what that's referring to. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, okay. Find a way to open up the door. That was weird. Hello? What is that? Ma'am? I'm kind of lost. I need a little bit of help. Maybe you can uh, point me in the right direction. Maybe not. I think that's a mannequin. Is that a mannequin? That is a mannequin. That's not a logical place to put a mannequin. And it's actually got some really serious wear and tear. An ordinary fuel canister. I think it's still has some gas. I sure hope that lamp doesn't go out now. I mean, you can almost kind of interact with almost everything, but a decent amount of things and we've got another mannequin at the end of the just some trash no wonder no one cleans it up so no one is here this looks like a typical hollywood set or something nope oh hi all right okay i don't feel so good looking at the phone i have a feeling i should stay away okay hold on can i that just creeps me out. Can I pick up? The Thank you, sweetheart. You pick, uh, open the door. All right, hold on. I was lucky enough to find a goddamn crowbar in the middle of nowhere. But why would someone leave it there? Never mind. I should try to open this door, I guess. Um, I can't go that. What door? The red door? Okay, fine, fine. I'm assuming it's the red door back there. Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, it's definitely this door. Hi. Hello? Are you the mannequin that was inside? You're definitely the mannequin that was inside. How'd you even move? He used a crowbar. Okay. All right, let's not get crazy right now, okay? 
It's some kind of generator. Hey, this is pretty freaking incredible. What the hell? Restore the power to the elevator. Okay, fine. I'll do that. Uh, sure. Why not? I don't think there's any fuel. Oh, I gotta go get the fuel canister. <laughs> Shit. I remember she was there. Or it was there because it's a mannequin. But now that one's not there. Yeah, this game's literally trying to drive me crazy. I see what's happening here. Bro, let's calm down. All right. Let's calm down. All right. Before I give you a little kiss in that face. Let's relax. It's not funny anymore. Yeah, that's right. It's not funny. There's the same model as mine. Looks like it's been here for a long time. I think this guy's probably crazy in the head. Well, most likely. Most definitely. Almost like 99% of horror games, it's you being a crazy person. Thinking that you're in a crazy world, but you're the crazy one. That's right. You're now out of here. I don't like that town anyways. I like how so far the game's not like disgusting graphically, you know? By the way, this is a demo. And the full game, I think, releases January of next year. But now we're going under. And I feel like the pretty aspect of this game is about to go to hell. Take a look around this place. Oh, God. And now. Oh, my God. Canned food and some alcohol. At least I won't starve here. Well, maybe you won't, but you'll die. Somebody will probably kill us. Have you seen this place? This is disturbing. Yeah, very disturbing. That's locked. We're going to need to find a key to that door. And the wood creaking is crazy. Oh, this one's open. How, how generous. I don't know why the games give me lamps. Like if I've, I've if, like, I've got an option to turn off the lamp and turn it on. Like you think I'm going to leave that off? That is no. A lot of booze here. Calm down. We don't want to summon any demons here. I really like this game. Okay. Ah, this is really good. Just some uh, painting tools and stuff. So far, this is really interesting. Ooh, another door that opens. I love it. Take a look at this place. Gotta be careful. I have a strange feeling someone was lying in this bed. Yeah, don't let's let's not even think about that. Let's not go there. I'm not trying to run away from anybody or anything. I've already had enough with home sweet home the last couple of days. So I'm pretty good. Alright. Shows a child in a full costume. Wonder if it means anything. Alright. Oh hold on. There we go. If I didn't know any better, those are the, the, those are grandma slippers. Okay. Oh fuck. All right. Are we going in there? Oh no, we're not invited. All right, fine. Just why don't I just take the elevator back? And possibly, it's definitely not a place to relax. Take the elevator back and possibly just get the hell out of here. It's closed shut. Just a second ago, it was wide open. 
Why are you doing this to me? Why? There are no buttons. I don't know how it opens. Ah, so we're going to be going different floors, which explore different areas. Candles. I feel so uncomfortable. It's not even funny. Uh, I didn't open that. the naval battle please just whatever you do just let's 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 not do that all right let's <laughs> let's calm it down oh, let's calm it down let's calm down Shit. Scared me to death. What the hell was that? Yeah. <laughs> fuck, man. What the fuck? Ooh, now we've got a flashlight. Oh, that's a small key. Never mind. I thought I thought we had a flashlight. I found some key. It was lying on the table as if someone wanted me to... Wanted uh, to be sure not to forget about it. I don't know what this key can open, but based on its size, I think it should fit some door. Maybe it's worth checking out. Maybe it's not worth checking out. Maybe a broken fridge is empty. I don't know what I expected. Maybe it's not worth checking out. Maybe it's just... We need to check it out. <laughs> it's a big difference. <laughs> Bro, this, this game is wild. I really like this. This is pretty fucking good. That's an elevator. I, I know exactly what this key is for. When I <laughs> what the fuck was that? We are not stupid. Hmm. We should have probably never picked up that key now. Shh. Here it goes. Do you hear me? strange feeling someone was just lying on that bed do you hear me bro oh boy Z. oh what the fuck H X S Q W K Q S O trying to help me or what okay all right this is uh okay good good Complete nonsense. Wow, I was not expecting that. Oh, my God. Okay. Not 
Mommy? What happened? Why are you crying? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hell, fuck. No. Find your daughter. What is going on here? I have to find her. This totally makes sense. Yep. Totally makes a whole lot of sense. My house is uh, torn to shits. And I've got to find my daughter. Why are you like this? Once upon a time, there was a little girl. Emily was her name. With her brushes, she would swirl. Painting was her world. Art always in her mind. She loved animals, big and small, no matter of what kind. Okay, so... Could that be our brother's daughter? Or is that like my daughter? Or oh, that is my daughter. So am I playing... I'm, plan as the father my plan is the mom that she was talking you know what doesn't matter bro the, the sound effects in this game i've always said it sound effects in the game are so important like so important and this game has nailed that so well i love you 1960s jazz hits we just picked up a toy block oh shit oh could that be the same thing that the, the tv was saying where are you all right so this is a puzzle we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pick this up then. We gotta find the other cubes, the other blocks, toy blocks. Here's another one. is this man come on stop playing with me like that mommy look at the white bunny it's shining you left emily you bastard <clears throat> yeah you stinking bastard okay so gotta be emily maybe time yet i saw a shadow on the wall there by the way i'm not stupid i'm not stupid i saw it what's up with all the wallpapers on the freaking walls man like this is overkill who designed your health and why uh, your house your house and why <laughs> why are those paintings blinking that is not normal here why did you leave we love you i love you why did you leave me why are you like this what the fuck do you leave us i'm leaving you left emily oh god typical deadbeat dad here ready to face the consequences of his bad fatherhood decisions Okay, my flashlight is whoa i what who did that <laughs> i'm tripping out right now 
Should we look outside the window? You left Emily, you bastard. Wow. Are they talking about the brother because he died? That can't be. That, that can't be. I love you. Yo, this is... That was mean. That is fucking weird. What the hell? <laughs> Where are you? Open up the damn door. Why are you doing this? Oh. <laughs> you can clearly see me. I... <laughs> That much I know. <laughs> Your life is meaningless. I don't think I've ever been so intimidated by an eyeball before. Do you remember? Do you remember, Alice? What is Emily's story? things and put them here oh we're fucked what the fuck was that why is that fucking creepy grandma here now like I've got to follow the candles and creepy ladies like I don't remember shit how about you tell me once upon a time there was a little girl Emily was her name with her brushes she would swirl painting was her world art always in her mind she loved animals big and small no matter of what kind one day a big storm came and a scary thunder roared Gladly her best friend was there so she could be her ward. And so our girl wouldn't be scared, the friend invited her to play. And with that little help, the fear of thunder went away. Then, a loud rumble was heard, everything went blank around. Screaming was loud in the house, and then a crying sound. But this time it wasn't her crying. was it then <clears throat> do you remember god damn it I don't remember anything picked up a painting all right we gotta pick up paintings can we just get out of here like this is an incredible game this is incredible
I remember something. Is that over here? Resident Evil crap. Oh, all right. Well, that's pretty dark. Wow. What in the world? Wow. No, 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 no. That's not. great mix of a, like a very typical liminal space horror with actual story and dialogue and characters there at the end i want to play this game when it comes out i'm gonna be playing this game let me know your thoughts down below if you enjoyed it please drop it a like this was actually surprisingly good i was not expecting this i actually got an email about this game uh telling me to play it check it out and i was not expecting it to be what it was that was phenomenal and thank you for watching wow that was really good all righty guys that's gonna do it for me hope you enjoyed that and hopefully i will catch you on the next one